Hello Aries, I hope you had a great weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, <clears throat> you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on, while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, share very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in the life, and how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey? What's coming up for Aries in the life, and how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey? This one over here is looking at me as extra message. <clears throat> Be careful financially with money because somebody is going to try to take advantage financially. Be careful, yeah. So that means be careful purchasing anything of value. Make sure you understand the fine print before you put your signature on it, whether you're buying a house uh, or leasing a car or buying a car or anything that is of value. Also be careful with investments because there's something hidden from you um, where if you don't know or understand it, you're going to lose financially. So be careful with money at this time. Yeah. Also be very careful opening emails from um, people or companies that are trying to uh, scam you. Be careful with emails. There's a lot of emails going on, going out right now uh, where if you click on the link, uh, they can easily take over your phone, look at your applications, look at everything that you have. Yeah, be careful. Uh, any scam emails, delete them immediately. Yeah, don't click on any links. I get them all the time. I just delete them. Yeah, sometimes they are not filtered into scam folder. Sometimes they go right to my inbox. So be very careful. A lot of them will pretend to be Amazon. They'll pretend to be PayPal. Be careful. Don't click on any links because... They will access your phone and your files and your applications. Yeah, be careful. Ooh, okay. Be careful with family members and money because it looks like somebody's going to try to take advantage of you financially as well in your family. So be careful. Yeah. Remember, people need to balance their own financial karma. Right, learn lessons, how to take accountability for their yeah, irresponsible spending habits, right? Yeah. You're gonna be letting go of certain family members. Yeah. Certain family members are already set you back financially. Yeah, be careful. Mm hmm Yeah. This is you walking away from something that you put love, energy time effort into universe please show us what's coming up for aries and how is aries currently doing on their summit journey you're showing up as powerful and independent strong-willed person yeah be careful something is brewing here something is being hidden from you that has to do with finances you are disappointed in your soulmate very disappointed actually yeah because they yeah also drama at your job be careful with drama at your job you are gonna shine at what you do you are shining at what you do you see this this is accolades this is recognitions for your well done work diligent work something is being hidden from you at your job as well yeah you worry too much you don't sleep Good. You worry too much, Aries. You still love your soulmate. 
Yeah, you do. You still love your soulmate, but you're quiet. You're not reaching out to them. Your energy is beautiful. You're showing up here as my two favorite queens, queen of wands, queen of pentacles with your third eye wide open. Yeah, I'm so happy for you that you are doing so well for yourself. Some kind of change at your job, whether it's a new job, a raise, promotion, a new place of employment, new way of doing business. Good for you. You are very talented. Yeah, so use those talents wisely. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating something, some kind of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. It's going to make you very happy. So new soulmate popping up here for you as well. Yeah, somebody who is romantic, affectionate. Remember, Aries, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with. Whether you want a new soulmate or the soulmate you've been dealing with back, if they prove themselves to you, want to be alone, that's totally up to you, Aries. You are in control of your life. Yeah, you, you make decisions for yourself, what you want to do and who you want to be with. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries. you're going to find something out, something of significance, some kind of information coming through that will give you clear vision of how to proceed correctly with your life. You still love the soulmate. Yeah, this is you having a lot of talent and passion for what you do. So stay focused on what's important to you, Aries. Yeah, stay focused and <clears throat> stay away from negativity negative people negative television shows there's a lot of them out there yeah yeah be careful what you watch on television don't invite in uh, into your living room any type of toxicity uh from television what you watch on television is yeah, so much negativity out there yeah so uh, social media the same thing be very careful with social media as well Universe, please show us so much negativity out there. Jealousy, gossip, drama. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You have to really be careful. Yeah. How you spend your free time. Use your free time wisely. Right? Time when you're not working. Yeah. Don't waste your free time on nonsense. Yeah. On television. Universe, please show us. What is going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? This one wants to show up as extra message. They didn't put work into this relationship because Eight of Pentacles is reversed. They're so worried. Yeah, there's drama going on at your work. Brewing, more drama, gossip. Yeah, you have to be careful. Whoever is in charge of you and other people is not really addressing the issues they need to address. There's a lot of mismanagement showing up here. Yeah, somebody of higher ranking where you work I don't like that energy towards you. You see this eye and uh, you see the claws. This is very symbolic. Be careful because there's aggression showing up towards you from someone of higher position, meaning they feel a lot of resentment towards you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, after seeing this, I would leave. <laughs> I really would. I would find something first that I feel comfortable with, I would accept that position or job, then leave on peaceful terms. There's uh, whoever it is that you're working with. First of all, there's a bunch of people that are into drama, gossip, chaos. You see this? But there's somebody in higher position that is watching you and uh, trying to catch you unaware because here they're holding on to uh, Ace of Wands with claws. You see, and the eye is watching you. Be careful. The first person that comes to your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is loss of money. 
Yeah, you see this? So that's what happens when people are mismanaging, when there's mismanagement of resources, mismanagement of people, there's loss of money, loss of profit showing up here. You really don't belong in that toxic environment. Yeah, there you go. New job showing up here for you, Aries. I'm so happy for you. New job showing up here for you. You really don't belong in this toxic environment. As a matter of fact, that environment is so toxic that you lost passion for your work, something that you used to enjoy doing. Uh, yeah, you're so emotionally turned off by the chaos, the drama, the gossip, the disorganization, the mismanagement. You had enough. You're ready to go. You see, find something first you feel comfortable with. Accept that job position. Then leave on peaceful terms. Um, don't burn any bridges before you leave because they will use that to ruin your references. Okay, be careful. You feel stuck there. You're not stuck. You're not stuck. I know it's scary to look for a new job, but it's something you're going to have to do sooner than later. You see this? You're not stuck. Yeah. You're trying to free yourself of that toxicity. Universe, please show us what is going on. It's funny. We're asking about your soulmate, but your job keeps popping up. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? Oh, you cut them out of your life. They're scared of you. They're scared of approaching you. They're scared you're going to tell them off again. They respect you greatly for being honest. The soulmate that you've been dealing with. For um, letting them know how you really feel, what you think. They're scared of your judgment and rejection. You're really going to have to stand up for yourself at your job. Wherever it is you currently work, there's something brewing where you're going to have to stand up for yourself. You already did. That's why this... Wicked eye is looking at you. You see, uh, here you're holding five swords. So there was something that transpired between this person here and you. And this person wants to seek revenge. Yeah, be careful. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Prepare yourself. It's coming. Five of swords. Be careful because this person is trying to take revenge on you. Even though what you did was right. You stood up for yourself. You reported them. Whatever it is you did, they're trying to take revenge on you. They're very vindictive. Yeah. Protect yourself. Watch your back and front and sides. Look over your shoulders. If you see being done anything that is unfair, uh, against the rules, okay, report it immediately in writing, professionally, of course, so you have proof on paper. Don't report things. Uh, in person because they're going to change your words yeah do things in writing that's the only way you'll be able to prove what you're saying because it's out there on paper they can't change your words and uh, do it professionally of course yeah The person you're letting go of, the soulmate realizes they lost you they miss you like crazy this is them feeling sad checking up on you you don't know how badly they want to reunite with you yeah look how strong you are you are so strong so the soulmate you letting go of admires you greatly for your inner strength for your resilience wherever it is you work they need you yeah they need you. This was a serious relationship between you and your soulmate. Serious connection. Look how scared they are that they lost you for good. They realize they can't come back to you with the same behavior, that they need to prove themselves to you through actions. Look how beautiful your energy is. You're going to have a new job. Yeah, a new job is showing up here. Whether it's a new job. New place of employment, new position, new way of doing business. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm so happy for you, Aries. Yes, you deserve a solid, healthy environment. Not chaotic one. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. 
Wow. Huh. So for some of you, this chaos is wherever it is you live. So remember, we have individual karma to balance and we have collective karma to balance with people, groups of people. For example, your neighbors and you might have karma to balance. Your nation might have karma to balance, right? Uh, when they're going through something difficult, right? So there's some kind of upheaval showing up here for you that will affect you with, with a group of people. Yeah. Karmic events. Yeah. Well, that is currently happening in Europe. Yeah, you see where, if you know world history, like I do, I'm into world history, um, how Poland, well, which is where I was born and raised, by the way, how Poland was attacked by Germany more than once. And when I was growing up, I'm 55 now. Well, when I was growing up, I was uh, young. I knew that something was going to happen uh, later on to balance that karma. I understood intuitively, innately, uh, I understood the laws of karma, the laws of cause and effect. So I knew the countries that attacked us had to eventually pay that karma. And that's what's happening right now. Poland is rising and Germany is in a very shaky state right now. That's karmic event. It's called collective karma. And what is karma? Karma is universal justice. Yeah. Also, friends that backstabbed us is also f falling down. Uh, England that backstabbed us also is falling down. You see? So karmic events that will have to happen to balance that karma. Yeah. It's universal justice. So... Uh, people have to always think twice before they do things and not think about other people's uh, safety. When we want to do something, we have to always be vigilant and remember uh, to think how our actions will affect other people around us, right? Yeah. So everything is karmic. We are here to balance our karma, to learn important lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Planet Earth is a very karmic planet. Yeah, we are here to learn important, difficult lessons. And we're going to keep coming back and over and over again, incarnation after incarnation, until we finally learn the lessons. Once we learn those lessons, balance that karma uh, individually, collectively, we don't have to come back here anymore, right? We can move on into other dimensions and not come back reincarnation after reincarnation right yeah universe please show us hmm what is going on currently with that soulmate oh look how much respect your soulmate has for you look at this your soulmate has so much respect for you views you as a fabulous empress Oh, they're checking up on you. So they're holding two swords, wanting to make amends with you, talk to you, see you. Yeah, you see, they realize why they lost you, which is a good sign, right? My least favorite night of all nights, in and out of your life. Yeah, didn't take you seriously and lost somebody fabulous, empress, right? Yeah. This is them trying to find a way to communicate with you. Well, they're going to have to prove themselves to you through actions. They can't just come back and say, I'm sorry, right? Yeah, actions speak louder than words. Words are just words, right? Aries, I'm so happy for you that you see very clearly what you need to do. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as two of cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, the Two of Cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, 
finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.